Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts, and today we're gonna be reacting to some weird ass Japanese game shows. And I'm not talking about the one like the Tetris people. I'm talking about the weird ass ones, the ones where if somebody walks into a room, you change the channel immediately because that game show is so fucked up, you don't want anyone else to know that you're watching that shit. But we are gonna check it out together. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, cause here we go. Okay, so these people are blindfolded and they're going into a room right now and they have to answer a bunch of questions. This actually looks pretty cool. This one doesn't seem that weird. It actually seems really, really cool. So those are the platforms that they have to stand on. And then they have plungers. I don't know why they have plungers. Oh my god, that is so freaking scary. <laughs> Two kids are doing that? Man, they got more balls than I do. What the fuck is this? Oh god, this guy's getting everything wrong. Oh shit. Stay on the block, my dude. Do it. Oh! My guy with the floral jacket. I'm pulling for this guy. So, the thing doesn't actually go back, it stays at where it is. So if you keep getting shit wrong and it pulls back, then you're pretty much fucked until the end of the game show. Oh no, they're not killing it anymore. Oh, one kid fell! Oh shit! What the fuck? Yo, this shit is too crazy. This guy's on his own! Keep answering, come on! Go kid, no! This guy is so fucking scared. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so the girl won the whole game show. That is actually a really cool idea. America, you gotta get on something like this. Come on. So now shit is really starting to get weird because this one is called Orgasm Wars. And I can't show too much or else this video is gonna get age restricted. Basically, a straight man. I believe that guy's a straight man. This guy is a gay man. And what you're supposed to do, hopefully I'm explaining this right. The gay guy is supposed to make the straight man have an orgasm. But let me skim through it, and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so we got my guy in a bathrobe, and then we got the other dude, who I guess is gonna service him a little bit. And now the guy is taking off his robe, and they zoomed in on his bulge for some reason. And the guy in the black is going down on his knees, and oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, I'm actually gonna skip this. This game shows a little too much for me. Okay, this is a game show that you guys might have seen on the internet before, but basically, these two girls are gonna blow into a tube on both ends, and they're gonna try to blow like a cockroach into each other's mouth, and they can't stop blowing, or else the cockroach is gonna end up down the throat. So I actually wanna see this. Oh, jeez. That's a cicada. Those are noisy as hell in Japan. You guys know cicadas? They make that noise during the summer, that irritating noise. Oh, that's so fucked. If someone gets like a first good blow, they could just shoot that into their mouth. Oh, fuck. You got me fucked up. Don't stop blowing. Both of you, don't stop blowing. This is so fucked up. No. Oh, fuck. Yo, this is disgusting. Ew. Damn, shot it straight into her fucking throat. Ew! Spit that shit out! Oh, that is disgusting! Oh, that's gonna make me gag. I have no idea what this one is called, but basically, you're in this cage right here, and there's a bear right outside the cage! I don't know what that is. That might be a sex doll. But a bear is in the area, and you have to be out of your damn mind. Oh my god, no, you got me fucked up! You got me fucked up! What if the glass breaks? Oh! I'd be doing the same thing! What the hell? Why does that bear want her out of there so bad? Oh my god, one wrong move. She is barbecue chicken. Okay, so we basically see what this game show is all about. Would you guys, let me know in the comments below, would you guys be this girl right now? Would you be in her place for a game show? Be real, would you actually do this or not? Okay, this is another Japanese game show that I don't know if I can show that much. <laughs> I don't know if I can show anything, actually. <laughs> because after I say the name... You'll know what I mean. I want you guys to take a wild guess about what you think this game show's about. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I, I can't show anything. Okay, so people are trying to sing. They're trying to get through a song. For example, let's say a whole new world. You have an attractive Japanese woman 
stroking your man part. And you unexpectedly hit those high notes. Like you're like, a whole new world. And the Grammy goes too. Like tell me right now, this guy isn't having the best karaoke session of his damn life. This next game show is basically a team effort. One person puts a strange object in their mouth and then they pass it to their team member and they have to do it when they know that whatever's in their mouth is completely disgusting. Okay, so this one is a frog. It's a cute little frog. I'm not gonna lie, that's a cute little guy. But don't frogs have so much bacteria in them? Oh. Yo, somebody come get your man right here. There you go. Oh. Yo, pass it up. Pass it up. <laughs> that is so fucked up. I feel so bad for that frog. All these guys are gonna get sick after this. Put the frog. Put the frog in the thing. Oh. What the fuck? So with this game show, all these contestants are standing on this weird contraption where if you get a question wrong, you get slapped really, really hard. And those things are cocked and loaded. So you definitely don't want to get hit by that thing. So let's see somebody get hit by that thing. This guy doesn't know the answer. Oh, he does. Uh-oh. This bull cup boy is going to get slapped really hard. Oh, boy. It's slap time. That's how you say mother? Haha. Oh, man. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. I hope these guys are wearing a cup, man. Because that's not good for your health. Getting hit in the balls like that, that is not good for your health. I honestly don't even know what the fuck this one is. So, from what I understand, basically you put on a rubber band on your face. And then you gotta eat marshmallows. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I feel like I would try a game like this. I, I feel like it wouldn't be too extreme. Not like the cicada thing in that tube. Ugh. That almost made me gag. I would try something like this. It's stupid enough, but it's not disgusting enough. Okay, we gotta see this last guy get the furthest marshmallow. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Tongue it. Tongue it. Just go. Like that. Oh, shit. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. I would definitely do that. Okay, this last one is definitely the weirdest of them all, at least in my opinion. It's a Komodo dragon chasing the contestant. I don't know what the goal here is, but if a Komodo dragon is chasing you, then you got me fucked up. Let's check this out. Oh, there's a piece of meat attached to this woman right here. All right. You would think that the Komodo dragon would want to eat the person enough, but no. There's a piece of meat hanging from a string tied to her booty. All right. Oh, man. That bitch is huge. When do you start running? When do you know when to run? Do you have to wait for like a whistle? Oh my god. Why would you do something like this? What the fuck? Even the camera crew is like, what the fuck? This is the lizard. And those are everybody's heads. Do you just like duck whenever? Is it like whack-a-mole? What if it just lunges at you? and takes out your eyeballs. Wow. Damn! I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be running right out of that game show. What is the point of this game? I don't understand what the point of this is. Like, is it whoever doesn't duck their head? Or is it the last person to duck their head? Because everybody's screaming right now. That girl's a G. She wants the money. She wants the game prize money. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be doing the exact same thing that these ladies are doing. But that was some of the weirdest Japanese games that I've seen. Japan is really creative when it comes to game shows. When it comes to anything. They are one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world. And it honestly wouldn't surprise me if America catches on to some of these game shows. Because a lot of these are old. Like, do you guys remember the game show Silent Library? <laughs> Japan had something like that a long time ago.
<laughs> a lot of Japanese game shows have inspired American television, and not just American television, but like all throughout the world. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of these Japanese game shows ended up having like an American version, and we might see it on television in the future or something. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed me reacting to these weird Japanese game shows, and you want me to check out some other stuff, please leave them in the comments below. But if you guys just enjoyed this video anyway, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!